Let's do a quick radio retopology, which you can apply for a wheel or for this kind of pedestal in my case. So what I want to do, I want to go into points to polygons and then go activate symmetry. So I'll go hit it here. And by default, I have an XYZ. So I'll go into radial mirror. You don't want to use radial symmetry. You want to use radial mirror. Radial symmetry will create a com complex buggy mesh. So we, we do that. And now just remove that window. Now, if I just start placing these points, it starts to jump a little bit. Okay, there, there we go. This works. And if I press the right mouse button, I will fill the polygons in and I just need to carry on with it down the line. And it's better to do like really big polygons like this just so I can fill in a big amount of space. I can always introduce edge loops later. So, and there we go. So now if I press right mouse, I can just move it around to make it snap. And you can see it kind of snapped too much. So when it disappears like that, it means we just need to introduce another edge loop, which is okay. So let me just carry on and resnap this part. So if I go do an edge loop across, that helps to repop that uh, that lost polygon. And let's move this around a little bit. So it's pretty much ready and we just need to get this guy. I want to move that point somewhere else. So sometimes it's better to turn off the symmetry. So if I turn off the symmetry and just uh, do it by hand using this add a split to create a triangled end right here. It's easier than trying to deal with all those mirror planes because the mirror planes, they try to snap and re-snap all the time. And that gets a bit annoying. So I can introduce a few more edge loops here. And I will just bring these guys to a triangle and bring it in the middle. And let's check with the enable symmetry. I can see this needs to be tricked and this needs to be moved around. And there we go, it's all snapped in place. Just this part here is not snapping that well. Let's do it. There we go, it got snapped. I can see here at the top we have mirror snapping, uh, which you can modify, make it stronger or less strong. I keep it pretty light because the segments are really small. I don't want to over snap anything or destroy the mesh essentially, because if you go crazy, it will over snap too much. So for example, this part looks funny. So what I want to do is turn off the symmetry and I, and I don't really know what's going on. Let me, let me move the stuff around. And if I, if I hover over and press, con, press delete, it will remove it. And let's re-snap it there. Now we've got a bit of an awkward piece. So I'll have to just reconstruct this particular part and points to polygons, hit it. And then we have an angle right here. So I wanna turn everything at least to quads and back to enable symmetry and fixing this a little bit, moving it across. So I can see not everywhere it's snapping super well. Okay, let's increase the mirror snapping a little bit, maybe to like 5%. Move this around away from the crack. There we go, we have it. So what I wanna do, I want to duplicate this layer just so we have a duplicated segment. Then we have our original part here and then we'll go into mesh, apply symmetry to the current layer that will create the object that is all around. So I'm not sure why this particular part is looking like that. Why is it darker than everything else? So let me, okay, that was just a visual display bug. So okay, it went away by itself. It's great. Uh, let me show that 
it's called original it's called back so you can see it did a great job however it's not snapping right now perfectly well so one of the things we can play around i can play around with a z bias so to see if it's maybe that that bias is that's what I'm doing in this particular case i want to go uh, press E to activate the menu, selection menu, and pick all of the vertices here, and then go and press spacebar and go into the snap menu, and it will resnap uh, these guys into the shape. Uh, maybe you'll have to go and just individually move this stuff around a little bit to fix some little things here and there, as so, so I can see it. Uh, or here we have a big hole or right on the side of the uh, column so you really have to go and just introduce a bit more topology here uh, and uh, i can do it just by cutting through it cutting around so here i cut a little cut out and then here just been pushed too much down so i'll just I'll right click right click on the edge and move it away and there we go pretty much the whole topology of the radial object is done uh, if you have a little hole somewhere, maybe uh, the mirror uh, mirrors didn't merge uh, stuff together, you can go spacebar and apply a weld operation. And I'll go like, select, go weld vertices and weld by distance. It will weld uh, stuff. You don't even need to pick anything. It kind of automatically welds everything, which I wish I'd rather selected stuff I wanted to weld. And I can see some of the stuff here got kind of snapped too much, so I feel like I shouldn't have picked all the vertices to resnap. I just should have gone a bit easier, but you know, whatever. And then I'll go with the brush uh, tool, and I want to make this brush a bit bigger, uh, pressing the brackets on my keyboard. And then if I go with Shift, it will smooth it out to make it a nice round edge loop, so it's not kind of such an angulated edge loop. And maybe it can help here at the bottom as well. Helps works as a charm. If I right click drag it, I can also change the size of the brush like that. So there we go. That one kind of got a bit lost, so I have to, I guess, have to manually. Oh, no, it's actually working. I'm trying just. Yeah, I have to kind of push it by hand. Those guys are intersecting and behaving funny. So let me do that. I'll go into the add split. Like here, I feel like a lot of that stuff has to be, has to uh, go down. Uh, I think I'll just use the brush tool to push it down. Yeah, that brush tool is working quite well. And I fixed it a bit more, just trying to make it slightly better. I could spend another 10, 15 minutes moving the vertices around, trying to really uh, fit it in and maybe modify mesh on uh, some parts. Uh, but it's good enough for this example and let's catch up in the next video.